the list of names of the abductees to be released was revealed. There was no room left for doubt. Once again, Hamas, now using this hostage release, is practicing psychological warfare. By actively selecting to release four-year-old Ariel, ten-month-old Kfir, and their mother Shiri, but not their father Yarden, another Jewish family is left, torn apart, and we get a horrific reminder of the selection procedure carried out by the Nazis more than 80 years ago, less than a century ago, a time where mass selections of Jews took place inside of the camps, before the eyes of thousands of prisoners. Families were divided, men and older boys, and the women and children of both sexes were separated. Their medical condition, age, or occupation decided whether they would live or die. This list of hostages that Hamas agrees to release consists of 17 broken families in which some of the family members will be released and some will remain in captivity. Our individual and collective trauma regurgitate our post-trauma from the history of the Jewish people. This is like a second holocaust, genocide terror of Jews, a pogrom, the dehumanization of Jews, and the questioning of whether Jewish lives matter, and how much do they count.